Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm going to show you guys how I am setting up my Louis Vuitton uh, desk agenda for the month of December. I'm going to be changing out all my dashboards. I have everything in here for fall. So I'd like to kind of show you guys what I'm doing, my process. Um, a lot of it is do, do it yourself. So it's very simple. You know, most of the stuff I kind of just picked from... Um, pick from old uh, scrapbook paper or pads that I had and I'm just going to show you guys how I'm going to switch everything out and go from there. So last time I do have a flip through of this setup and what it looks like for fall on my channel. Um, I will remember to link it and definitely check out that video because it'll show you this whole fall setup. So I'm just going to remove everything first and that I do. I definitely know I'm not going to keep and then go from there. So I added these dolls. These are not actually on there. These are all ones that I just made myself. So I'm just gonna take out some of these and probably put some ones that are more uh, Christmas related, definitely more winter related. So let's remove these girls and I'll keep those two. I definitely am gonna remove, this is a dashboard that I had made. And that is just um, also another dashboard I made. Uh, check out that video, as I said, for more details. Let's remove this one. I'm going to remove her. I will keep in this one because I'm using this for my business stuff and keeping receipts. So I will leave that one in there. And this... Um, this paper I'm going to remove because more fall related. I was watching a video on, um, are you, uh, her name is Leonor, Leonor Alexandra, and she was talking about like, are we um, manifesting like negative experiences? And so I just kind of wrote down what she had said, um, and I'm going to try to use this. So I just keep some filler paper in here. I'm going to keep in the same filler paper, and I think I'm going to take out this one. I am keeping... Um, some money in there I think I will leave this one in here and for the most part the I have just kind of num uh, September through December uh, let's take her out they're so cute these are from uh, happy planner and it is laminate stickers and then I just put um, a paper clip at the back and that's it right nothing to it and these are some uh, planner clips I made so I'm gonna take that one out and these charms I don't know these won't go with the colors that I have going on right now so let's take this one out I'm going to leave uh, my pen in I'll leave the charms that I have at the bottom because these are pretty neutral this is kind of ones that I had made they're super cute and let's start so do I want to keep this one in? I think so. I think this will probably go with what I have. So I did make some uh, some dashboards. If you guys are um, following me on Instagram, you would have seen some of these that I made. Um, these are what they look like. And actually, I think I posted the ones for my Happy Planner on there. So these are the ones that I ended up making for um, for Christmas. So there's this one. There's this one, and there's this one, and this one just has my name on it that I did, and I laminated it with some Happy Planner stickers and some scrapbook paper, and I'm going to replace this one for my calendar, and then there's just this one. So I think I'm going to start with putting in this one. Let me just move these to the side. So I'm just going to pop this at the front. And that is super cute. Make sure you guys can see everything. So that one is super cute. And it goes with kind of the gold and theme that I have going on here. Let's see. I would like to add. So all I do is just take, um, you could take any card stock or scrapbook paper and add it to, um, I printed this on vellum. Um, I just found a calendar on Pinterest. 
sorry guys i normally record when my kids are gone to school but they are home and they're making noise so i just had to ask them to please keep it down for me and so i'm just going to stick this at the back of this i don't know how good it's going to look i might end up having to replace this and do a different one um that will work for now maybe i'll just cut this down but it looks okay you can i can see all of um it's probably not showing up the best on here but i can definitely still see uh the months and the dates perfectly fine so i think what i will do is probably just trim this down and leave it in there and i think that's about it so let's trim that down i'm just going to take uh my paper trimmer and remove some of that excess stick it back in here and that should be good now yep that is perfect and I think I'm going to remove this one and sorry for all the noise in the background there is construction in my neighborhood so it's kind of loud because once they come to empty the bins they are super hella loud um Maybe I can put this with this one. I don't know what you guys think. Let's put it in and then I can go back and, and see. So this one is actually made out of a box from Dollar Tree. And what I like about this is going to add like a nice thickness compared to, um, compared to just using like scrapbook paper, which I made another um, uh, Christmas shopping list here. So I'll explain that in a minute. So I think I might stick this here and do that. Or maybe I can stick this right in front of like December and do that. That might work. So I have the same one here. But I think I might do that and add it in here. And this one I will put behind here. So let's do this one here. So this is um, a shopping list. Sorry for the shaking. Um, this is a shopping list that I created. I just used um, some scrapbook paper. And then at the back, I used some Happy Planner stickers. And I just made like a list. So um, I'm going to put all like the people that I'm shopping for. Uh, this year, I will probably put... Um, like try to do a little bit of meal prep i think um most people are not able to really because we are back into kind of what they consider red zone lockdowns in certain areas um you are not supposed to be really hosting anything so for the most part i will just have this as meal prep for my immediate family and yeah so this one just has a holiday gift list here it has shopping and here is my dinner menu. And then I just added some cute little stickers and to buy so I could do that and definitely use some note paper as well. And let's put this last one um, right here. That will work. I actually have another, um, another one that I'm using as for the same purpose so you can write down sort of like what your goals are for you know for this for going into the last month of the year that kind of stuff and i think i do want to use this one as well but where am i going to put you let's put you at the back that will work so i'm just going to put this off as kind of the last page in my agenda and that way I can use this to write down sort of what my goals are going to be, maybe going into 2021 and go from there. I do have, um, so this was the original one that I had in there before for, um, for fall. Definitely, you know, reuse them if you have, but I have quite a bit. So I, I did one already. This is same thing, just scrapbook paper. And I just made little cards out of them. And these are what the cards look like. I just put them front to back like this. Or I should say back to back. And then I just stick them in here. And it's just a cute little, you know, you could put pictures in here. Do whatever uh, you like. And I'm going to put pop this in right here. This one is made for uh, a mini. You can find these, these, um, 
these uh, pocket folders in the memory keeping uh, section or scrapbook section, usually in Michael's craft store. I don't know what it's like in the States with like Hobby Lobby, that kind of stuff, but you do have Michael's. So definitely check out the memory keeping kind of scrapbooking stuff. And these are uh, typically there. I do have this other um, envelope that I think I'm going to use in here. It's super cute. It really doesn't go with the theme, but it's still like pretty. So I'm going to stick you here because seeing how I have some pink here, that might work. And that's it there. And so I'm going to show you all the stuff that I did make. Same thing with some Happy Planner stickers, some um, pictures off of Pinterest. You definitely cannot sell other people's artwork, but I'm using it just for my personal use and just for um, like showing you how I set it up in here. And I just stick them wherever I feel necessary. So I definitely put these girls maybe like here. And I think I wanna put these girls at the front. So let's put them here and then I just hole punched it, laminate it and hole punch it with my um, happy planner, uh, my happy planner punch. And I think I want to put these Louis girls here, this Louis girl hair. And yeah, so that's it. I'm going to, I made this planner clip and I'm going to replace uh, the one that I had before and put her here. I had it in here somehow did I maybe I'll take this one out for now yeah I think I don't, don't know if both of them are gonna be able to fit in here comfortably but definitely maybe just that one and that's how it looks now and I have a whole bunch of clips that I made so I'm gonna add them here so I just made this one Super cute. Just some stickers that I ordered on AliExpress. And I have a video on that haul as well. Let's see. And I just added another little sticker from the Happy Planner to make it a little bit more festive. Let's stick this tall one here. And so it will peek out a bit. And move this one over. I don't want it to overlap this way. Oh, no. And let's put this one. It says, meet me under the mistletoe. Let's put her here. No, I want her down here. And what else? I also made this cute one. It's just a little girl. And then I put a little Christmas tree there that she's like looking down at. And she will go there. So maybe I'll have to move you down. I can kind of just peek through there. And let's put you under the mistletoe. Okay, so you're going back up here. Or do I even want this one? Nah. I think, no, I'm going to keep her. And then let's see how this one looks. So that's the thing when you have these little dolls and, you know, paper clips and stuff, you know, you keep playing around with them. So I'm going to leave it like this for now. I have some other ones I'll show you guys that I made. And you know what? Halfway through the month, I might switch them out and play around with them and, you know, think of some other ways. Like you don't have to keep it the same. That's the one thing I love about, you know, um, this part of planning is that you know you can be creative and kind of set up your things the way you want like there's no right or wrong answer to how you set up your agenda how you set up your planner you know and that's the versatility especially for me working with like a ring bound um a disc bound planner rather than a, than um like a coil everything's interchangeable so she is a chunky girl. I think I might end up um, putting in some other discs that I have, some black discs, and they're a little bit fatter, so that way I can accommodate more in here. And yeah, so maybe I'll do that um, afterwards, and then I'll take some pictures of that, what the black discs look like and go from there. So this is what the front looks like now and with the pockets. 
and let's do a quick little flip through. So here is the first dashboard with my name on it. I have some sticky notes. Some of my girls here. And just an envelope that I'm keeping receipts in. And then here I have uh, Merry Christmas, my dashboard. And that's what it looks like. And this is another, I believe this one was a bag and not a box. So you can use, you know, Christmas, go to Dollar Tree or your local dollar store. We have Dollarama as well or your dollar store with more and get, you know, gift bags and cut them out and use them. My house and theme is red truck this year. So this definitely is very fitting. And then all I did was just put a new um, piece of card stock behind my vellum with all my 2020 calendar and just some filler paper here. This cute little envelope. This is going to hold uh, money from sort of my business ventures right now. And I just put this little tab here. And my Louis Vuitton. Um, I bought this. Uh, I bought this. Um, not bought it. Sorry. I printed this off of um, Pinterest as well. Same thing. And just laminated it and added uh, one of the Happy Planner. Uh, they stick on so they make kind of like a half envelope here and some of my girls and then going into December here is my new dashboard for December and then that is what the front is it's uh, the same one that I'm using again and last but not least I have this one here and I use uh, wet erase markers instead of dry erase so they do not transfer as much and they just look like this by expo wet erase wet erase and then yeah just use that and then my pretty planner clip here at the end and that is what it looks like so i hope you guys enjoyed this setup and flip through of my louis vuitton desk agenda and if you guys enjoyed this don't forget to hit your subscribe button and turn on your notification bell and i'll see you guys in the next upcoming video bye